Good afternoon. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Saturday, November 14th, 2020. It is a very pleasant afternoon out there throughout the region with temperatures ranging from the mid 40s to lower 50s throughout the uh, northern interior, New York City metro, lower to mid 50s in the Philadelphia metro. And that's pretty much where we're going to stay for the rest of the day. Winds are from the west around 5 to 10 miles per hour. You can see high pressure is basically passing right over us. But trouble is brewing off to the west with this warm front approaching by the time we get to this uh, by tomorrow afternoon and in the evening this cold front. And they will pack a bit of a punch. As you can see on the radar, not much really going on. And on our visible satellite picture, pretty much clear sky. So a few sky cloud cover, not too bad at all. Now on the infrared satellite picture, you can start to see something brewing here. Now, right now, we are in between the subtropical and polar jet stream, which is providing us with excellent weather. This strong little upper level trough here is going to be approaching by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, and that's going to lead to some scattered showers with a warm front, and then the cold front moves through in the evening, and that may actually produce a few isolated thunderstorms as well. So that could be pretty interesting. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Tranquil, beautiful highs in the lower to mid 50s. For tonight on through tomorrow morning, look for increasing cloud cover, lows in the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow afternoon, look for scattered showers developing with some light to moderate rainfall. High temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s ahead of that rainfall. Then in the evening, let's say from about 6 p.m. through 10 p.m. from west to east, you're going to get this cold front moving through. And this cold front is going to pack quite a punch with winds veering from the south to the west at 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts over 40 miles per hour at times and periods of rain and one line of thin line of strong thunderstorms right along the cold front that's going to be capable of producing some very heavy downpours and wind gusts easily over 40 miles per hour. It's what we call low top thunderstorms, which is a feature in the fall when we get these strong dynamic cold fronts moving through. So those high temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s are going to free fall the rest of the evening. Now on Monday, cold air transport, which means we're going to get these little weak troughs. So watch out for an isolated rain or snow showers. Look for scattered clouds otherwise. Lows in the upper 30s to mid 40s. Highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. But those highs will be earlier on in the afternoon and then steadily falling thereafter. On Tuesday, another vigorous cold front moves through with the threat for a few isolated rain and snow showers. Look for lows in the mid to upper 30s. Highs in the upper 40s. And then on Wednesday, high pressure will be in complete control with scattered cloud cover. Lows in the mid 20s to lower 30s. Highs in the mid to upper 30s. Yes, that is not a typo. That's true. Highs are only going to be in the mid to upper 30s on Wednesday. But then we start to warm up pretty significantly by the time we get to Thursday. With lows still in the mid to upper 20s, but high temperatures about 10 degrees warmer in the upper 40s to lower 50s. On Friday, a warm front lifts through with a few widely scattered showers. Lows in the lower to mid 40s. Highs in the mid 50s to lower 60s. And on Saturday, a cold front follows with additional showers. Not a washout, just a pesky shower here and there. Lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s, but highs in the lower to mid 50s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, stay safe out there.